head to templates packages then add package to create a new package template you can name your package at the top of the screen the name will help you stay organized on the back end it will not appear on the invoice next click new line item this should look familiar it's the same information you would see if you were adding a line item on an invoice this section will be visible to the client so name the item clearly you can also add a description for greater detail if you want to include multiple lines with bullet points you can toggle that option on here then hit enter to start a new bullet the subtotal of the invoice is calculated by multiplying the quantity by the price of the package you'll want to enter a value of at least one for the quantity if you entered a quantity greater than one make sure the price you enter is the price per unit for example if you sell a package of 10 hours of consulting at a price of $100 per hour, the quantity you enter would be 10 and the price would be 100 to generate the package subtotal of 1000. Sometimes you might not want to show your client a per unit breakdown. In that case, you would enter a quantity of 1 and then input the full price of 1000. You can then detail the number of hours in the description instead. For those of you with set products and services, creating packages should be straightforward. You can create individual packages for each of your main services as well as for any add-ons or upsells you offer. If you do completely custom work, you can still take advantage of packages as a starting point. Perhaps you outline a few placeholders at the package level, and then customize the details for each individual client as you are creating their invoice. Even a simple template can save you time in the long run. Tip number one. Don't forget to click Add Item to save each line item in your package. Tip number two. After creating a number of packages, you can rearrange them in the packages list by dragging and dropping each package into the order that works for you.